What up guys, Bad Example here again, that's bringing you another uh, video on the Drake Caterpillar. That's it. This is the, I guess, the last of the really big ships that are available before 3.0. And I wanted to try to get this out before 3.0 came out, because that's, it sounds like there's going to be a big change to the item system. Uh, item 2.0, that's what they're changing, doors, entrances, all that fun stuff. And so I'm hoping a lot of this affects the Caterpillar, because that's it, there's still some areas that's it, where it can be kind of clunky to move around in. There's a lot you can inter interact with on this ship. And uh, hopefully that's what we see some improvements in there. But here is the Caterpillar. That's it, it is a extremely long ship uh, compared to everything else in game that it is quite a bit longer than a starfarer and definitely longer than the constellation uh back there was the engines these are the cargo pods that's it there are uh four pods that's up to starting from just behind the logo moving up and then there's a fifth section in the front it's a front loading pod uh i believe the four in the center can be swapped out with other types of Pods or modules, I think they call them. I don't believe this front one can, but it could be wrong. And here, that's what you see the actual uh, cockpit flight deck area. That's a, this whole section can actually detach and become its own ship. That's what, uh, although that functionality is not in game yet. Uh, and the entrance to the ship is under here. A little. Uh, Platform drops down, get back into first person mode, make it a little easier to move around. Once this goes down, that's it, you can actually hit the pad to move it back up. Inside the ship, you'll hit that same pad and you can get out that same way. And here we have the, I guess, the, the entry room. That's it, you can then access different areas. That's it, heading uh, this way into the ship, you access the habitation area. That's it, you've got a little dining place, screens, uh, beds for your crew. There are only four beds there. There are also four beds in the uh, flight deck, so there'd be a total of eight as long as the ship t stays together. There's the toilet, definitely important, and this is the first, uh, I guess, a uh, cargo pod. That's what you can walk down the whole ship from the first floor, and that's what you can use this to open the port and starboard. Um, oh, <laughs> that's not port. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Got a little spun around, that's a, and then here's the starboard, uh, or starboard, uh, door opening. That's it, you can open those from this floor, there's actually a catwalk up top, I'll go up there later, that's it, and you can ac actually open the doors from there as well. But that's it, through this little central area, you can walk through all the pods, and get to the front here, that's it, looks a little different. It's just got that front door, that's it, and you could still uh, open that front door just like you would the other ones. Slides out, opens up, that's it, and you can load stuff in there as well. And, but yeah, that's the, uh, I guess the length of the ship will go and check out the back. That's it, you can see the little parking sensor system up in the front. We're still not exactly sure what those are for. Um, but here if we go up the ladder, that's what these ladders are in all the cargo pods, so you can move up and down as you need to, and that's what there are uh, ways to open the starboard and the port doors as well for the cargo pods. Now these will open just the, the doors for the pod you're in. There doesn't seem to be a way to quickly open all doors, or at least not that I've found yet. But there's definitely a lot going on with this ship. A lot could still change. Um, but yeah, definitely a good ship. And with 3.0, that's it. There should be cargo coming in to play. So this should be a very popular ship once 3.0 hits, which looks like it's going to be early to mid July at this point. And that's it coming around uh, this way. That's it, we can get back into the engineering area. There's a little hall here, that's it, with some other systems that uh, when everything is all flushed out, that's it, you'll be able to interact with a lot more of it. As your ship takes damage, that's it, here we've got the engines, a little, um, I guess, engineering area. There's probably going to be some screens up there. don't remember what that doorway goes to. Uh, that door is for the turret, I believe. Yeah, okay, yep, that's the, the turret. 
and we head up here that's what we can go up the hallway to the right that's what you there's access to a wing and a uh, I guess a laser grabber system that's, that's probably going to be able to be used to be picking up uh, loose cargo from space and helping actually get it into your ship without actually having the EVA I believe that's I could be wrong there as well and then going out there you can get access to the outside of the ship and up here is the flight deck. So you've got the pilot and co-pilot up there. That's it. You have other tech stations. And there's a separate living quarter area down here. And you'll see that's it there. Um, oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> that's something I hope is getting fixed when they do redo the item system. But anyway, here are the beds. That's it. Here's the other crew area. That's another little station up here. And I don't think that's a door, but uh, yeah, so that's it. That is pretty much that's what everything there is to see on the inside of the ship. Let's try and take it out. I didn't have my joystick sucked up, so this could be a little clunky. But we'll be able to at least boot it up and see how she flies. That's what, and the answer is extremely slowly. They, after they. Uh, tweaked around the the flight and combat system. That's what this is one of the ships that really felt it negatively. That's it, which, but with it being such a big cargo ship, that's it. You shouldn't expect it to move around like an 85X or an M50, any kind of racer or something like that. That's a, it's a definitely that's a, a slow commercial vehicle. That's it, which seems pretty fitting. But yeah, it's a great looking ship and flies all right get a good shot there that's a going planet side which we should be able to land on once 3.0 hits and when i say planet side it'd be what moon side that's it because i think we're just getting moons in 3.0 but that's it yeah the caterpillar should be able to go planet side as well as long as uh as well as the other ships that i showed as well the starfare and the uh, constellation. So, yeah, there's a good shot of the side showing the doors that I opened and the other doors remaining closed. But yeah, it's a beautiful ship. That's it. Uh, this one I got recommended to show by that's it, one of my friends, uh, Dante. I'll put a link to his channel in the comments below. That's it. And if there's any other ships that people want to have looked at, that's it. Just put in a comment and I will be able to show that one. Alright, thanks so much.